This is a model of the plasma membrane. Uh, the current model is called the fluid mosaic model. Fluid because things are moving around and mosaic because there's a variety of things in the membrane. It's a double layer, mainly made up of phospholipids. Each one of these is supposed to be a phosphate head and then the tails are the lipid part. Uh, the heads are what we call hydrophilic. They are water loving. So they orient uh, spontaneously towards the water. There's a lot of water outside the cell, a lot of water inside the cell. So the heads face the water and the lipid tails face each other. And these tails are called hydrophobic. This is, represents a cholesterol molecule. Uh, and that helps give, strengthen the membrane. Uh, the purple are supposed to be uh, glucose units. So this is called what we call collectively the glycocalyx. So basically the cells have a sugar coating on the outside. So that's one way you can tell this is the outside of the model. This would be on the inside of the model. We also see a peripheral protein here. Those are easily removed from the membrane. More embedded in the membrane would be the integral proteins. The integral proteins might serve uh, as a carrier or a channel. Those are two of its functions. This one has a channel or a pore. So uh, things that are lipid insoluble and small might be able to travel through this pore. Things that are a little bit too big might be carried across by uh, a carrier protein. Things that are lipid soluble, on the other hand, probably was crossed through the lipid barrier. Now water can tra travel across the membrane very quickly by most any means. It can go through the pores or it can go through the uh, phospholipids. Uh, of course, we also have other methods of getting things into the cell. Penocytosis is cell drinking. That's done by a lot of cells for absorption. Uh, phagocytosis is cell eating, and that uh, has a cell membrane move out and, and surrounds the substance and brings it into the cell, which then uh, it's inside a, a vacuole that then combines with a lysosome. And uh, the lysosome has the enzymes to digest the food. We also have things, so those are examples of endocytosis, phagocytosis, penocytosis. Uh, not too many cells do phagocytosis, mainly white blood cells, but lots of cells do penocytosis. Things can also exit the cells, things that maybe were made by the cell, or um, things that were not di indigestible, or waste products, and those can be leave through exocytosis, and uh, sort of almost the reverse of what the endocytosis. Now there's a special kind of endocytosis too, I didn't mention before, called receptor-mediated endocytosis. And that requires um, a, a certain molecule, molecular shape that would bind with a, some kind of a receptor on the cell. So it's very specific and it brings in uh, certain types of substances into the cell.